Here we are on the banks of the Great Zambezi River, campsite 21 at Mana Pools, and it looks utterly spectacular. Our first priority is getting water. Hell's bells. This is quite something. Let's just walk to the edge of the bank of the Zambezi River. Is it safe? Who knows? Probably safe in the day. I wouldn't swim here. I wouldn't want to fall in either. I mean, this is, this is something else. We're not sure what these are. We think that they may be places to rest one's derriere when it is full. Well, let's find out. We have been warned that we shouldn't expect pristine Buckingham Palace thrones. Give a courtesy knock. Got to hope that you. Well, we bought new paper. Oh, that's very lucky. I definitely need more than that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry about that. Good. Perfect mana pool shot, elephant pool, thid herbia albida trees, sausage trees, impalas, and the strange blue light that seems to be unique to this magnificent part of the world. There we have an Ilant, very attractive, sun going down now, in fact there are a few Ilant, just need to unlock this, I shall pan towards them, there they are, stunning scenes here at Mana Pools. I'm also enjoying the pods of Fred Herbia Albida. 
behind the tree. I am doing the backup. Kirsten, do you promise to format the GoPro card tomorrow? I can't make any promises, but I'll try. What? I mean, is it very hard? Yeah. Okay. Well, if, just try. If you could, that would be great. Thanks. So, one of the greatest trials of being on camping expedition while filming is finding enough power for your bits and pieces. We have a GoPro, we have a phone, we have two cameras that have batteries that need charging, we have a computer on which to dump our footage that needs charging, and it's very difficult to find sufficient power to power all these things. But luckily it is my birthday very soon, in three days, four days, Kirsten, four days is my birthday, and my parents-in-law have purchased me this magnificent inverter which is plugged onto the battery of the car and it is solving a massive headache that has really dogged us on our last two trips. Hooray! Hooray for parents and all! Yay! of it. I think it was okay. Pretty steady. It was wedged up against the tree. I was in two minds to try and take stills of the deer, but I got the deer. This fridge has been a cock-up from beginning to end. It does not stay cold because the battery's buggered. The result that things are either rotting or thinking about rotting. And on opening the fridge today, we discovered something that we really didn't want to discover. And that is an exploded yogurt. An exploded yogurt is not something that a human being wants to find because it means that you have to clean it up. You cannot just leave it and pretend that or unsee it. So unfortunately, we are going to have to clean up, watch out the monkey, there's a monkey coming on the top of this car. The monkeys here are completely, watch out behind you. Get a stick, please get me a stick, because I will lay into this thing. That's... Tell your father to stand guard. 
We've got a major issue here. An exploded yogurt. It's the kind of thing you wish you had, could unsee, but you cannot. Locked them in. There goes the muesli I was hoping to have. In many public conveniences, this grey thing here is a dispenser of loo paper. Here it is a nest of the foam nest frog. Hello, foam nest frog. And his friend is more in need of cover. Yes. Hello. 